Hey friends and welcome back to my channel Kiwi's Collectibles. I'm Pam and in today's video I am far from my home in South Carolina. My son attends college and lives in Oklahoma so my husband and I decided to visit him and of course I had to do a little thrifting. In this video, we shopped at the Goodwill in Moore, Oklahoma. Then we stopped at the Salvation Army, also in Moore. So let's go in and see what I found. The first thing I noticed in this Goodwill was the neater display of merchandise. It wasn't so junky. Then I noticed the prices. Items were much lower at this Goodwill than the ones back in South Carolina. Look at these adorable owl wall hangings. I thought they had to be plastic, but they are metal, not brass, but they have a good weight to them. I thought they were really cute. Aren't these the cutest little salt and pepper shakers? I like how they wrap them up in plastic and not tape. Now this little figurine is from Japan. And this candle holder definitely has that 70s color and vibe to it. I like these sweet little angels. They look like hobbyist pieces and they would be a cute display for Christmas. I found two boxes of this eight piece snack set by Anchor Hocking. They were too big to take back home. Plus clear glass doesn't really sell very well for me anyway, so I left them behind. Now this was a great bargain for this desk organizer. It was in great shape probably came from like Michael's Crafts or one of those type stores and you could not beat the price y'all. I love that it turns on a Lazy Susan and it really only needs a good cleaning. Y'all, this was such a sweet little figurine. It looks to be home co and they usually come in threes. These two little pieces caught my attention. Looks like they are from Denmark. They may be older, they have crazing, but they look to be in fantastic condition. And I really love the way they look. I was really digging this vintage black and brass etched vase. This would look fantastic in someone's boho decor. And this is a nice one too. Oh, look at this handmade pottery Starbucks mug. Y'all, it was so cute. You can totally tell that this was maybe made in a pottery class, but what a good job they did. Check out the details on the mermaid. It must have been a holiday mug. Maybe it was a gift for someone. I don't know. This is a vintage piece of Christmas decor. I like these wooden angels, but I'm not sure how I would display them in my home. This picture, I should have brought this one home. It is a Ben Siebel design, informal Iroquois picture. This pattern is called Sleepy Hollow. Now the Bombay green pattern sold on eBay for $307 in May. Thank you. 
We have now made it over to the Salvation Army in Moore, Oklahoma. I noticed right away the prices were a little bit higher here than they were at Goodwill. I like this basket, but $4.99 was way too much for me. These Asian figures look like they were part of a larger set of some kind, but I really like the way they looked. These salt and pepper shakers were $2.99 each so I left them there on the shelf. Now this was interesting. A polar bear stoneware pottery planter. This planter is made by David Stewart for Lions Valley Stoneware. He made many different animal planters from lions to mice and they all have that mid-century modern feel. I liked this white vase, and of course, it is modern. And this tray was a beauty. The colors really popped. It's made by Michael Design Works, and they do not sell for cheap. Unfortunately, this one did have a few issues on the corner and on the back. This kitty planter had just a little age to it. It was made in Taiwan and was in pretty good condition. Look at this, an Inesco human bean. They aren't worth a lot, but they really are cute. And this one is from 1981. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell and set it to all. That way you will always be the first to know when I upload a new video. Plus, it helps my channel grow. I saw this beautiful art glass vase. It was quite tall and had a base at the bottom. I don't know much about art glass, especially the different shapes and styles. So I left this one behind.
This silver plated sugar and creamer set caught my eye. I liked the little flowers on the feet and I thought they added a whimsical touch to it. This was a very boho trinket tray, but for $5.99, hmm, too much for me. I recently saw this same little Avon teapot in someone else's shop along video, but I can't remember who it was. Maybe it was on Carol's channel called My Blessed Nest or Amy's channel, Yo So Boho. I don't remember, but it was the same exact one. Go check out those ladies' channels. They are pretty fun to watch. Now that I'm further into the Salvation Army store, I notice that the shelves are organized by color. And we don't have this back in my area of South Carolina, so I was so enjoying this moment. On the red shelf, I found one lonely strawberry salt or pepper shaker. It had a rubber stopper and I noticed a small set of initials on the bottom. They were T-Y. These are so tall and gorgeous, but I almost died when I saw the price of these candlesticks, $34.99. Now we are at the brown shelf and we continue to have a mix of modern and vintage items. This little sugar coffee and tea canister set was a nice little compact set, great for anyone's small space. Oh, look at these dishes on the bottom. I wish I would have gotten a closer look at those. I noticed this brass bowl, but it didn't look too good up close. And let me know if I'm right or wrong, but I think this is an apple baker. Am I right? The first thing I would like to share with you is this precious little figurine. It was made by HomeCo and not really worth a lot but I love it and will use it in my own Christmas decor. This little bowl and cup are made by Soholm in Denmark. They have a nice satiny feel to them. They're very mid-century modern looking and I will not be selling these little gems, but I'm gonna keep them for myself. A few videos back, I talked about finding a few of these silver plated sugar and creamers to flip into pin cushions. These were a little expensive, but I love the flower detail on the feet and thought they would be perfect to try to flip. This owl set was too cute to leave behind. They are not brass, but some kind of metal and they're painted. They have hooks so they can hang on the wall and I will be selling these in my booth. I loved this brass and black etched vase. It is in fabulous condition and I'm going to sneak it into my brass candlestick collection. 
I found this single shaker at the Salvation Army in Moore. It was so lonely, and I did look for its mate, but I couldn't find it. I can use this little strawberry in a summer display, or maybe I will sell it in my booth down the road. I picked up the Polar Bear Pottery Planter by David Stewart. I had to figure out a way to get this back to South Carolina without breaking it. It's worth about $50 on eBay, but I won't be selling this one. If you get a chance to look up David Stewart Pottery, he's got some very unique pieces. Make sure you check back in with me on Wednesday as I'm going to put out a part two video the rest of my shopping experience in Moore, Oklahoma. So I hope you'll come back and join me then. Until next time, my friends, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.